I'll repeat. We this both have. We both. We we we've. We both have that refrigerator, man. <laughs> yeah. So people, for people who don't know what we're talking about, there is a famous black and white photo of Tony Danza, um, and it's him completely naked. Uh, like he just got out of the boxing ring, or he just got out of doing some sort of sport. Somebody grabbed the photo of him, and the man's got a very large. Uh, he's got, he's got he's a very got a large healthy, Danza. He's got a healthy, healthy dong. Yeah. He's got a. It's one of those pictures that you're like, oh, I can't believe it got out, but you're also like, man, eh, not. Not worried about it though. Yeah, I feel like it. when you see pictures like that, he knows. He's like, "Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm psyched about my dong. I don't care that this is out there." There's a yeah. lot of nude pictures of me out there. You know, I'm those are all the it. ones that you've put up. I mean, but look, when look, my pop it in there, you'll see it real quick. You know, when you take a look at it, you go, "Hey, who's the boss?" Oh, there's the boss. The stop. boss is down there. You know, he's he's do. caught in a moment. It's out there. I'd love to know the history of that picture, how that got out, where that was from. But you had it as a refrigerator magnet, right? I did. Yeah. Yeah. I had it as a refrigerator magnet. And um, I, you know, I feel like we just told this story, but, uh, but Brie, yeah, I, I know that ago. every, I think every week we have, I like to assume that every week we have about two or three million new people. So yeah. Yeah. I had it on my refrigerator and um, you know, you can, in, in, in the version I have, you can see his dong front and center. And so I had it on the, my refrigerator and my wife was very concerned that our cleaning lady was going to get upset because, sure. you know, our housekeeper who is, you know, a very nice older lady and my wife didn't want to offend her. And so she took it down and then I put it back up and I think you had a similar experience. Well, I right? did something a little bit differently. Uh, my father-in-law, when he was sick in the hospital, uh, he did you take you a know, picture of his dong? I took no. a picture of his dong and then I, mm. I leaked it online. Um, he was sick in the hospital and we really wanted to make the room feel like a place that was a little bit warmer than a, you know, than a hospital, hospital room. So, <laughs> yeah, so I printed out all these pictures of his grandkids, my son and his other grandkids, and I put them up all over the uh, the room. And yeah. in between those pictures, I also put that picture of Tony Danza naked with his you know with his uh with his with his danza out and um it took a few days for him to clock that <laughs> there was an, a it. naked tony danza picture next to his like you know one-year-old grandson and uh he got a real laugh out of it it never came down off the wall but i remember him looking at me and goes you've got a real sick mind <laughs> he was he was right he was right mm -hmm. Now, let me ask you this. So to finish up on the Galaxy, you go to the game, you meet all these heavy hitters. Um, what were your kids? Um, are, your kids probably aren't impressed to meet famous people, right? No, they, they are. Because like, here's my thing. I read a whole chapter about this in my book. I oh, have God, retired. Everything, every conversation is a advertisement for your book. Um, I oh. To buy my book. That's um, Bill, Cl uh, Bill, Clinton. Bill Clinton in the tone of I did not have sexual relations with that woman doing uh, buy my book. You're Bill Clinton. <laughs> I'm a regular Matt friend. Famous. Your Bill Clinton is famous. I want you to buy my book. Um, no. So I read a whole chapter about this in my book. And I feel like I have to sometimes now say that because if you ever look back, you're like, oh, was he plugging his book without telling me? Um, I don't meet celebrities anymore. I can't meet celebrities anymore. I told you that uh, every time I try, it goes haywire. I, I had that oh, crazy yeah, interaction with Jonathan Majors, uh, yeah. which, I mean, you, you probably, know. You don't, you don't want to tell that story. Anymore. No, we already told it. But um, yeah. And so I, I kind of hang back when it's somebody that I want to meet, but my kids, yeah. they were super psyched. They knew these people, you know, they, they oh. are fans. Now I was excited because the person, um, oh, I haven't even shown you the photo, but there's a, a photo that I have of my, uh, my youngest son, uh, Vanilla Ice with, uh, jo Jokovic and Vlade Divac, uh, famous center. Wow for the Lakers and the Sacramento yeah. Kings. Uh, and so I thank knew you, Vlade. Thank you for explaining to me who he, I did. I happen to know who Vlade is. Oh, well, sometimes you're I like, I don't watch him. Sports Brown. Sports Brown. What's our take? 
If you've got a hot take on sports, sports. you got to watch Sports, sports Bros. Bros. Wah, 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 wah. So, that yeah, was pretty, pretty good bumper right there. These bumpers are always good. I don't understand why the chat doesn't make more bumpers for us and send them to us. Every week I we know. say, make cool bumpers and we'll show it. Make um, some bumpers. So I tell my kids, this is what I basically tell my, my son when he gets excited and he sees somebody. And I'll tell you, you know, who he saw, which was actually really cool. Uh, you know, he saw, I don't know if you follow football at all, Rob. I do. That's yeah, you do. You know, yeah. Who's like one of the be- one of the most exciting players on the Rams right now? On the Rams, well, there's lots of guys. I would say, uh, I mean, Stafford. Sure, uh, sure. But oh, like, let's oh, go a little oh, bit wait. deep. Oh, oh, uh, the guy from um, the little receiver guy, uh, Pika. Uh, what's his yep, name? Yep, um, yeah, not Pika. It, you're getting close to it. Puka uh, Nakua. Puka Nakua. Yeah, P- yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So we saw. Puka Nakua and my son's head exploded because he's also oh, in the yeah. box with us. He's the best. And um, Pikachu. And, and I says, port- <laughs> and I said to Pikachu. <laughs> I said to him, I was like, "You want to go over and say hi?" And he's like, "Yeah, but I'm nervous." I'm like, "You're a kid. Kids can do whatever they want as long as you're nice and you make eye contact." And you just say hi. No one is going to be mean to you. And he doesn't really ever believe me. But so far, he's had these amazing experiences with Dwayne Wade and Russell Westbrook and Puka Nakua and uh, you know Jokovic, Vlade. Like because he's just he legit is into these people. It's not yeah, me yeah. sending them. You yeah. know, I'm not. I'm not. For, but I, what I say to him is like, I got your back. I'll get the picture. You go do the thing, and I don't use him as an entry point. I'm like, it seems like you I, do. It seems like I go. I I say to him, to meet and you send him over. Uh, is like I I send, I send him over, and I go. I'm not going to interact here. I'm not. In, I'm not. I'm not going to go. Hey, he's a big fan, guys. I got to tell you, I also hey, big Bill Clinton Rams fan. Bill, Bill Clinton. <laughs> hey, I get no respect, right? Uh, <laughs> Bill Clinton. Your Clintons are great. Oh my gosh! But that was it was a it was a super fun game. Watching That's Messi play awesome. was amazing. So, so even though I'm not it, supposed what, to did it end? Did it end in a tie? Why yeah, would they do that? Why not just like have a shootout or something? Now Come here's on. what I'll say, um, because it was so far to get out to the LA Galaxy Stadium from where I live, um, and it was a school night. It was Sunday night. Yeah, it was about two minutes before the end of the game. So I said, "All right, guys, Messi's not going to score. Like it's not going to happen." We yeah. saw we saw an amazing game. We <laughs> had a great time. Let's beat the yeah. traffic because people were starting to leave. It was like, yeah, it's yeah. two minutes left. Yeah. So I get I pack up my stuff. I get everything in my hands. We're walking out the door. We take a look on the field, and oh. boom, that was the moment. It, like we almost missed it by a second. And it was like our mm. final farewell to the night it was like, bye-bye. Oh, and it was I I would have regretted that so hard, like walking yeah. out the door and missing a messy goal. I, I don't like to leave before games are over. Uh, as a matter of fact, it's a, a, a point of contention between June and I. Who June's always like, "All right, it's the third quarter. Let's let's get out of here." I'm like, June, lo- June loves June loves to beat the traffic. Yeah, loves to beat the she traffic. Loves, 